Letter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. Bet you thought this was going to be another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. It's not. I am returning to the warmth of Vice City to do the work of Colonel Cortez and um, deliver some hardware for one of his compatriots. It's an interesting piece of hardware and surprisingly easy to steal, but you can screw this mission up pretty quickly. This is called Sir, Yes Sir. Yes, was pleased. I would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Give you a hint. The hardware you're picking up is going to be mm, a tank. And yeah. You're wondering how the hell can it be easy to steal a tank? Well, I'll get to that. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit to where we meet up with the tank. Okay, now we gotta find a way to steal the tank with all those military guys hanging around. My advice, don't do it directly. Follow along and wait for an opportunity that will present itself. Just shadow them and it's not a timed mission, so don't worry about it. Find a way to steal the tank. Go get some donuts, soldier! Sir, yes, sir! Convoy, halt! Target acquired, sir! Okay, platoon, moving out! On the opposite side of the road, the guy got out of the tank and got some donuts. If you try and get into the tank from the side of the road that um, Tommy currently is on, you're going to die. So you got to get over to the opposite side, the right-hand side of the road, and enter the tank from that side. And you just kind of creep along, and you can kind of use the car to slow the convoy down and then get into the tank. Now that you are in the tank, it can take a lot of damage, and it's kind of fun to blow things up. But a self-destruction device has been activated, and you got to get the tank to the location before the device is triggered and blows up, and you got to start this damn mission all over again. I'll tell you from experience, uh, using the roadblock technique, and attacking the tank directly only gets you killed. Blocking the tank and then entering in the proper side, well, it does work as you just saw. So, 
yeah, nothing can really harm you. You're in a tank. And there you have it. Wanted level has disappeared. Mission complete. And you are now in Little Havana running around. And you got to get a ride home. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video likable, well, hit the like button. And leave a comment. If you enjoyed this type of video, I post four videos involving video games a week. And I'm trying to mix it up again. I might focus a little more on Red Dead. Who knows? But you will be informed if you hit the subscribe button and bell icon when I do post videos. Um, watching is important. Subscribing is important. It helps. And I thank all of you for watching, and thank all of you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Convoy, halt!